Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabat fi Allah what does it mean to follow the usul of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah so this is the uh, thing we're going to explore in this quick sitting uh, in our quick minhaji mountain series and that when we talk about the aqida the creed of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah we're basically talking about the, you know, we're talking about Akita, we're talking about creed, we're talking about the belief that you have as a Muslim. And we're talking about the, uh, us, the, uh, the usul, your foundation principles with regards to various precepts that are codified by the Salaf and by the classical uh, scholars with regards to various issues of creed. For example, with regards to the pillars of Iman, the six pillars of Iman, that has to do with your creed. And, and Prophet ﷺ said in the Hadith of Jibreel, when he was asked about Iman, uh, Jibreel said, uh, the Prophet, he said, tell me about Iman. The Prophet ﷺ said, and took me to Allahi, wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhir, wa took me to qadri khayrihi wa shar. He said that Iman is to believe in Allah. And uh, his, his uh, malaika, his angels, and his books, and his messengers, and the day of judgment, and the divine destiny, the good and the evil of it. So those are the six pillars of you, man. All of those things have to do with creed, have to do with your creed, how you believe about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do you uh, have a belief that you deny Yom al Qiyamah, the day of judgment, like the Mushrikeen, the pagans do? Uh, do you, you know, what you believe about the divine destiny? Do you deny it? Do you abuse the principle, making like istithna qadr, you know, or uh, not, not istithna, but uh, do you say, make the, uh, do you deviate with regards to the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether you have the extremism of the extreme nufat of the qadariya, uh, you know, the, or the jabariya, those people who believe that we're forced to do, all of those uh, forced to do everything that we do, that we have no choice. These are all issues of creed. So when we talk about the usul, uh, 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 usul al-tiqad, the creed of Ahl Sunnati al jamaah that's what we're talking about. We're talking about how Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, uh, how th those precepts in creed, in Aqidah. And that forms our, uh, the foundation of your deen, uh, the foundation of how you understand Islam. And a part of the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and perhaps this is a mas'ala that overlaps, it goes minhajiyah, but it's also Aqidah, is how you view the Muslim rulers. You know, even that. And that's why you see Ahl Sunnah emphasizing these things about creed uh, and, and, and obeying the Muslim ruler, not rebelling against the Muslim ruler, not making takfir of the Muslim ruler, not protesting against the Muslim ruler. You see all of the kind of things. And you see Ahl Sunnah also, not necessarily, you, we, we don't defend the ruler in, in, in sin. That's not what Islam teaches us, it's not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you don't defend anyone in their sin, you don't say, oh yeah, he's doing sin, he's killing people, he's drinking wine, he's doing this, this is okay, and, and no, no, but the point is, is not to talk about and spread those things, especially when there's no fa'idah fi, there's no benefit in it. So the, that, that is really a, an issue of menhajiyah, but it also, you'll find it in the books of Aqidah, because the, it's kind of a, an issue of itiqad. And it has to do with the usul al itikad When we talk about the usul al itikad and that's why some of the scholars talk about menhaj and aqidah being one. So that's just a little bit about uh, the importance of the itikad of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. You know, believing in Tawheed. What you believe about Tawheed. Do you make new categories of Tawheed? And you emphasize that for political reasons, like Tawheed al Hakamiya, like the, the, what's emphasized in the books of Sayyid Qutb and, and many others who have deviated away from the, uh, uh, really the, 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 the creed of, of, uh, of Ahl-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah. And so, uh, 
this is very important to have some insight, some understanding. We ask Allah Azza wa Jalla the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.